Amazing what this top border patrol agent just said to Trump will make his jaw drop. The National Border Patrol Council, President Brandon Judd, hopped on uh, Fox and Friends to talk about President Trump's border wall. He says that morale under President Trump is higher than he's ever seen it. Check out the video below. Peter Ducey exit question. I know during the Obama administration, I know a lot of you and your officers felt hamstrung, couldn't really do your job. What about now? Look how he responds. We will build the wall. We've already started planning. It will be built. I'm a builder. That's what I love to do. That's probably what I do best. I'm a builder. Well, now the Department of Homeland Security is getting to work and expecting to build up to eight different prototypes by the end of the summer. Here to weigh in is the president of the National Border Patrol Council, Brandon Chuck. Brandon, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing okay. All right. Uh, so the president's very clear. We're going to build that wall, although Congress doesn't seem to be behind the president at this point. Well, you got to appreciate the Freedom Caucus. At least they're pushing in the right direction. You've got to appreciate the president. He knows the buttons to push, and he's pushing the right buttons. And I think it's going to get done. All right. Uh, these are. So, tell us a little bit about some of the border wall requirements you would like to see. I mean, you're an expert at this. Well, what you have to have is you have to have a double-layered um, wall. If you look at San Diego or El Paso, where we did it You mean a right, secondary fence, Brandon? A secondary fence, exactly. Um, if you look at El Paso or San Diego, where we did it right, illegal immigration has plummeted. And if we do it right in strategic locations, like what the president said, we're going to control illegal immigration. Well, it has been miraculous at the number of uh, illegal border crossings we've seen ever since this uh, man has been a president of the United States. Can you explain why the number is going down so significantly? Absolutely. The president has done a great job of actually enforcing the law, something that we didn't see in the last eight years. And if we continue to do that, uh, the message, a clear message will be sent throughout the world that if you cross our borders illegally, you will be detained and you will be sent back. Well, on January 25th, shortly after he put his hand on the Bible and became our uh, commander-in-chief, uh, effectively he told the ICE folks and the Border Patrol people, the catch and release ends now, right? He did. And what has been the impact on the number of people coming over? Uh, again, if you look at the, the rhetoric that the president sent out, uh, we've had the drop that we've never seen before with any presence. And so if you're in the left, right, or in the middle, you have to say, this president has done exactly what he promised to do, and we do have border security like what we expect to see. Sure. Uh, Brandon, exit question. I know during the Obama administration, I know a lot of you and your officers felt hamstrung, couldn't really do your job. What about now? There's a vibe, there's an energy in the Border Patrol that's never been there before. In, in 20 years that I've been in the patrol, we haven't seen this type of energy, and, and we're excited because we, we signed up to do a job, and this president is allowing us to do that job. All right, that's what we want to hear. Uh, Brandon Judd, president of the National Border Patrol Council, joining us from D.C. Brandon, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, early Because under, under Obama, it was catch and release, and they were told to stand down. Brandon Judd, there's a vibe and an energy, okay. And uh, keep the energy going. Don't let up. That's it. They were told to stand down by Obama. Really, I mean, it's disgraceful what he did to this country. And, uh, you know, at least we're, we're on the right track now. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.